October of 1957, the United States got just scared because the Russians launched Sputnik and put up that first satellite and everyone was so terrified here in the United States having one good effect. It scared a lot of young people into an interest in science and technology. And I bet you a lot of people here, okay, came in during those times into it. In January of 2000, I'm sorry, 1958, the United States launched its first satellite that was uh, put up by the, uh, by the Army. And then right after that, this satellite, Vanguard, was launched in March on St. Patrick's Day in uh, 1958. And it was the first solar-powered satellite. If you look at it, okay, the solar cells were out, out on this whole, whole thing. And when it went up into, up into space, okay, uh, they went to launch it. The engineers at, at Naval Research Labs who control this wanted no part of the photovoltaics. They wanted a reliable energy source on that. They wanted batteries. And so when that went up, that transmitter on it, in, in fact, I have with me, this is actually the backup transmitter from Vanguard. I have the backup satellite. I, and if you don't think that this is tough to get through security at the airport, let me tell you, you have to do a lot of talking on exactly what this is. Yeah, what about those knobs? On the thing? So this is the backup transmitter, if you want to look at it, it's transistorized. It sat right in the middle of this, of this little sphere on the whole thing. Went up at first, powered by, powered by, the, uh, by those batteries, and for the first two and a half weeks, that's what it put out, and, and uh, got that signal, that beep, 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 put out by, uh, by the power from those batteries. At that point, at two, two and a half weeks, the batteries died, and the photovoltaics took over. But those engineers didn't think the photovoltaics were reliable, would work, and for the next uh, seven years, this is what we heard. And they tied up the frequency. They couldn't turn it off because they made no provision to do this at all. They powered this. So until that satellite intercepted the Van Allen belt, okay, and killed all the electronics on the inside. In fact, no one knew exactly why the electronics went out on that time because we didn't discover. I guess we, by then we discovered the Van Allen belt. But anyway, this destroyed the whole thing and destroyed this uh, transmitter. And by the way, that satellite is still up there. It's our, you know, Sputnik came down, Explorer came down. It's the oldest piece of, uh, of space garbage in existence on there. And it'll stay there until, until the late 22nd century, according to the calculations. And Dave, if it comes, if it, if it doesn't, you can hold me to it, okay? If it comes down a few months earlier on the whole thing. So, 